So we're going to start talking about clinical scenarios related to acid base. And the clinical scenario is extremely important because that gives you a lot of information in terms of how to interpret the acid base disorder. Let's remember that the pH is maintained in a very narrow range. And it's maintained by essentially the ratio of bicarb concentration relative to the PCO2. This is the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And so clinically, things that change the bicarb or the PCO2 may have an effect on the pH. Well, what are some of those things that you need to watch out for that can alter the pH? Anything that increases bicarb, decreases bicarb, increases PCO2, or decreases PCO2. You will remember that the lungs regulate the amount of PCO2 eliminated, and the kidney will attempt to maintain a bicarb equal to 24. The lungs will try to maintain the PCO2 equal to 40. What are some scenarios that result in changes in bicarb or changes in PCO2? Those are the important things to recognize in your patients. So let's go through a few examples. Vomiting. Vomiting is loss of HCL. And we will remember that there's a relationship between CO2, water, bicarb, and acid. So the loss of HCL will cause a metabolic alkalosis. Mainly due to driving of this particular equation towards the right and increasing the amount of HCO3. If we look at diarrhea, diarrhea is simply loss of HCO3. And the loss of HCO3 drives the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation in this particular direction. Decrease HCO3 equals a decrease in pH. Loss of HCO3 is a metabolic acidosis.
fairly straightforward. Low blood pressure causes potentially lactic acid production, which is in our particular equation increases this and drives our reaction this way, thus decreasing bicarb. So low blood pressure causes a lactic acidosis which is a metabolic acidosis characterized by a low HCO3. Nasogastric drainage from an NG tube usually is in the in the setting of a small bowel obstruction SBO what we have here is we have potential loss of stomach acid and loss of bicarb from pancreatic secretions Usually, these types of patients are on a proton pump inhibitor as part of their prophylaxis. And so what happens with the proton pump inhibitor is acid production in the stomach is not significant. And so essentially what you get with nasogastric drainage in a patient with small bowel obstruction on a proton pump inhibitor is preferential loss of bicarb, which results in a metabolic acidosis. So you see, by deconstructing the case, by thinking about the Henderson-Hasselbach equation, you can get an idea of what the primary acid-base disorder may be.